All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, this is just a short video. I hope it's going to be short, just to answer some of you. You know, I hope that uh, the ones who listen to me, they will not be upset. And I'm not here to school anyone, but you know, sometimes I feel like some Christians, they are the same as Taliban. You know Taliban? Taliban, and th this is one of the problems of, of, uh, of Islam, uh, they want to practice, they want to practice their thinking in 2018 and they claim that this is the way everything should be. So let us say it, or make it clear, they want to go back on time. And today we see in the front of us each time I speak that most you know a, a Christian woman she can teach you see some Christians don't agree and I'm for sure you know I respect your opinion but let me share with you why I believe that you are acting like Taliban CB brother women shall teach children's but not teach men but I suffer not a woman teach nor it's you know the verse in the front of us so in order to prove that women they should not teach we say women they should be sinners but this but but this verse is not about women should not teach if you read carefully my friend when when a christian person he read the bible he should read the bible not a verse and then we understand the circumstances for this verse and what is why it's said and who said that and for what reason because the bible have many verses speaking about women teaching too so how women they cannot teach you see if uh, if we as a christians adopt uh, just one verse Claiming that this is the what this is what the Bible meant, it's mean we are not really being Christians, because the Muslim they are doing the same. They take one verse from our Bible and they say, "See, this is what the Bible says." You are doing the same as Muslims. We keep saying that the book is a book, is not a page, is not a chapter, is not a verse. To know who's Jesus, you have to read about Jesus and what said Jesus from the beginning to the end. You don't take just a word Jesus said. Well, Jesus, he said, I am the son of man. Okay, a Muslim now will come to me. He said, okay, how you say that Jesus have no father, but he is saying he is a son of man. This is exactly what you are doing. You quote a sentence or a phrase, and you try to prove a point from that point, ignoring the rest of the book. And that is not a Christian behavior, and this is not right. Is it really true that Christian women, they cannot teach? Let me tell you what you are saying to me right now. If a Christian today, they are about 3 billion, and if women about, let us say, 50%, you are saying that 50% of the Christians, they lost the opportunity to teach non-Christians about Jesus. You Christian women, you shut up. You cannot tell someone about Jesus. Oh, you know what? You can teach children and you can teach uh, women. Oh, if you sit in the bus next to a person, you cannot invite him to Jesus because you are a woman. Oh, because you have a Gentile uh, problem. That's not what the Bible teach. That is Taliban thinking, and the Bible never says so. And I will show it to you. How amazing it is if every one of us become an ambassador for Christ. And women, they got better opportunity actually to bring people to Christ because they have more time, let us say, they, they are more social, uh, you know, they, they are like women by nature, they are different from men. So they can really merge into any society anytime if i want to go to a house as an example in the middle east 
and I want to tell you about my mother. I don't speak in a, in a private about my private life, but if you sit with my mother and you see how many Muslims she schooled them, I, I want to say it in a different way. She spanked them for sure, not by her using her hand. She spanked them and she showed them how stupid Islam is and how amazing is Jesus. And my father is listening. Well, my mother, she is gifted. My father, he knew. He have answers, but he is not gifted the same as my mother. So now what we say, we say the man should talk, the women should, should shut up. That is not. My friend, the church is not a building. The church is not a wall. The church is not a floor. You guys, you have a wrong idea what a church is. The church is every two. Mention the name of Jesus. That is a church. All right? If a woman, she is gifted, and the Lord speak in her tongue, and she can bring people to Christ, what's your problem? Who is angry here? You, the man? You feel insulted? Your echo? You don't feel like you are a man no more because a woman, she is being doing better than you. She is a smarter, maybe. That is the, you know, like the old days mentalities. Because the woman, she is not educated. She stay home. She is just a wife who cook and he takes, she care, take care of the children. But there is women, even in the old days, they were extremely smart, extremely amazing, and they play a huge role in the history of Israel. Do women really teach in the Bible? Yes, they do. You don't take a verse and you say, this is what the Bible is saying. That's not fair. And that is not even Christian. In order to understand what the Bible teach, well, we have to go and see what the Bible say. <clears throat> if you go in the, uh, in the book of uh, Acts, let us go to, to the Bible first. Let us open. Uh, I know uh, that some, they don't like to hear the Bible, but for me, I enjoy it. If you don't like it, you can leave. Especially the Abdul. The second I play the Bible, they run. Acts two. Take a hike. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven, now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own tongue, wherein we were born, Parthians and Medes and Elamites, and the dwellers in Mesopotamia, and in Judea and Cappadocia, in Pontus and Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia in Egypt, and in the parts of Libya about Cyrene, and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. And they were all amazed, and were in doubt, saying one to another, What meaneth this? Others mocking said, These men are full of new wine. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice, and said unto them, Ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words. But these are not drunken as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel, and it shall come to pass, in the last days, saith God, 
I will pour out of my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. All right. Did you see what the Bible says? Guys, did you see what the Bible say? Does it say that your sons and your daughter shall prophesy? So they cannot teach, but they can prophesy. But isn't prophesying is serious teaching? It's more actually more. Uh, it's a higher rank than just uh, teaching because I am. I can be teaching somebody about Christianity, but I am not prophesying. I am not in the rank of to be say I am a prophet who God who gave me a prophecy. So your sons and your daughter shall prophesy. Because really, sometimes kind of uh, like war me, when people they speak about something, but they don't really connect the dots together. Women, they are prophesying. It's not just the men. And the Bible full of names speaking about women who they are prophets and judges. You can go to the book of Judges. So why we, we when we want, we make the women a shadow and we make a Christianity the same as the savage religion of Islam where it make the women stupid. She is no one. She have to keep her mouth shut. You need to read things into context so you can understand. The Bible speaks that women, they can even prophesy in the name of the Lord. Not only that. The Bible, you know, the Bible make it more clear in different verses. The brother who he said to me that women, they can teach children and women. But does the Bible speak about teaching men? That there is women who taught men, men of God. Men of God, not any men. Yes, the Bible speak of that. But you know, people when they want, uh, like you know, we quote, we quote something, and we insist to quote and repeat the same thing, but we will not quote really the rest of the story. Why we don't want? Why do want to go there? I mean, why? What is the problem? If you go to First Corinthian, let me try to go there. <clears throat> But every woman that prays or prophesy with her head and cover, you know, you can read the rest. And here you see some, some people, they will say to you, uh, like the Muslim, they come to us with this verse, taking things out of context, says that the Bible is speaking about women, they should cover their hair and cover, and they make as, as, if, as if God is about women covering her hair. Here you will explain that women, they can prophesy, and women, they should honor themselves, and the honor of the women is her hair. However, I see nothing wrong with women going inside the temple of God, covering her hair, because this is the house of God. And the man, the man, the Bible speaks about the man, how he should be, uh, let us say, treating himself as a man, you know, like uh, you see in the old days, when a woman she is a bad woman she shave her head let us say shaving the head is kind of a punishment it is not a reward so those who they have a shame they shave their head so the honor of the women the cover of the women is her hair it's like a woman praying to god without having hair in her head why she don't have hair because she did commit a crime so the hair here is not really important as much it is about what you did. Why you don't have hair? It's not because somebody have a cancer. No. At that time, when a woman, she commits something wrong, they shave her head. 
so how the women can be prophesying for God and prophesying to who we can continue reading more and more verses and by the way I advise you to read the whole chapter not only a verse because as we said the Bible is not a verse to read and you know just to quote and paste you know and make a story out of some time just to to prove a point but we know in many places that women they were really teaching even good men um, if we go to uh, uh, Acts 18 Acts 18 after these things Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth and found a certain Jew named Aquila born in Pontus lately come from Italy with his wife Priscilla because that Claudius had commanded all Jews to depart from Rome and came unto them and because he was of the same craft he abode with them and wrought for by their occupation they were tent makers and he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath, and persuaded the Jews and the Greeks. And when Silas and Timotheus were come from Macedonia, Paul was pressed in the Spirit, and testified to the Jews that Jesus was Christ. And when they opposed themselves and blasphemed, he shook his raiment and said unto them, Your blood be upon your own heads, I am clean. From henceforth I will go unto the Gentiles. And he departed thence and entered into a certain man's house named Justice, one that worshipped God, whose house joined hard to the synagogue. And Crispus, the chief ruler of the synagogue, believed on the Lord with all his house, and many of the Corinthians hearing believed, and were baptized. Then spake the Lord to Paul in the night by a vision, Be not afraid, but speak, and hold not thy peace, for I am with thee, and no man shall set on thee to hurt thee, for I have much people in this city. And he continued there a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. And when Gallio was the deputy of Achaia, the Jews made insurrection with one accord against Paul and brought him to the judgment seat, saying, This fellow persuadeth men to worship God contrary to the law. And when Paul was now about to open his mouth, Gallio said unto the Jews, if it were a matter of wrong or wicked lewdness, O ye Jews, reason would that I should bear with you. But if it be a question of words and names and of your law, look ye to it, for I will be no judge of such matters. And he drave them from the judgment seat. Then all the Greeks took Sosthenes, the chief ruler of the synagogue, and beat him before the judgment seat. And Gallio cared for none of those things. And Paul, after this tarried there yet a good while, and then took his leave of the brethren, and sailed thence into Syria, and with him Priscilla and Aquila, having shorn his head in Centraea, for he had a vow. And he came to Ephesus, and left them there. But he himself entered into the synagogue, and reasoned with the Jews. When they desired him to tarry longer time with them, he consented not, but bade them farewell, saying, I must by all means keep this feast that cometh in Jerusalem, but I will return again unto you, if God will. And he sailed from Ephesus. And when he had landed at Caesarea, and gone up and saluted the church, he went down to Antioch. And after he had spent some time there, he departed, and went over all the country of Galatia and Phrygia in order, strengthening all the disciples. And a certain Jew named Apollos, born at Alexandria, an eloquent man, and mighty in the Scriptures, came to Ephesus. This man was instructed in the way of the Lord, and being fervent in the Spirit, he spake and taught diligently the things of the Lord, knowing only the baptism of John. And he began to speak boldly in the synagogue, whom when Aquila and Priscilla had heard, they took him unto them, and expounded unto him the way of God more perfectly. And when he was disposed to pass into Achaia, the brethren wrote, exhorting the disciples to receive him, who, when he was come, helped them much which had believed through grace. 
for he mightily convinced the Jews, and that publicly, showing by the Scriptures that Jesus was Christ. I mean, guys, would you, did we did we learn something important here? Anyone? Acts Nineteen. Anyone notice what we learned? Came to pass from this. What we learned? What we learned? There is a man who is a good man. He's a believer. But he did not know any baptism except the baptism of John. And he was brave, preaching to people. What happened here in this story? Who noticed? <clears throat> Anyone? Go search for those two names. <clears throat> and you will know who are they. You can go and do, do it right now. I advise you right now to do it. So, do women, kind of women, be part of teaching somebody can be a woman or the man should talk only and the man should teach that guy the right way and the truth to explain to him more about what is right Sometime, I look at the Christians when they say those things, and I wonder how many people we lost to invite to Christ because some of you decide to believe that women, they cannot teach people about Christ. How many opportunity we lost? When I was in Germany, I met with the woman, her name is Yasmin. Uh, this woman, she ministered to a lot of Muslims. And because she is a woman, she have no problem to go inside a house full of Muslim women, which I cannot do. So, we have examples of women teaching men in the Bible. We have examples of women being prophets. We have examples of women being judges. We have an example that the Lord himself, he came through a woman. But yet, everybody want to put the women down, and the women, she have to go in the shadow, because still they have the mind and the mentality of the Orthodox Jews who believe that women are dirty. The same as the Muslims. There is people who have a gift, and those are the teachers. It's not about you have a, you know, excuse my language. You have a private part of a man, and that will make you smart or will make you capable of teaching. That is a very naive, you know, understanding of the Bible. It's not your private male part what makes you qualified to be a teacher. It's your knowledge. It's your belief. It's your faith, and most of all, God supporting you. God, he chooses his people. It can be a woman, it can be a man, it can be even a child. Actually, that woman, Yasmin, she told me a story about her son. Her son is just a kid. He's like maybe nine years old. A friend of her, she come to her always, and you know she wear a necklace, which is a pagan necklace. You know, I forgot what the sign was. She told me, but 
and she was shy to say to her that she should not wear those things you know I think it was like uh, the, the evil eye something like that you know so the kid he's 10 years old he said to her this is pagan and this is this is this is the, you know so anyway whatever he said to her was able to convince the women that this is wrong she was wearing this for like 20 years in her life the adult could not do it the child he was able to do it the Lord he used the tongue of that child to bring the truth to that woman so don't be don't be naive and say oh women they cannot teach there is many women they brought millions to Christianity go to India and see go to India and see what the women were able to do they establish what nobody can or able to establish let us let us not to be Taliban we are followers of a Christ and the Lord he gave us wisdom whoever can bring people to him he should do so every tongue should glorify him and every tongue should speak of him and that tongue is not a tongue of a male or a female once I was asked why in the time why Jesus he have a 12 disciple but there is no women well it's very simple we have we are talking about a time where women she don't even dare to leave her house those are people they are going to go between cities and countries and this is why you will see they are you know they are they, they have they having a life different from normal life they, they you know most of them they don't get married their life is dangerous going from city to city discriminated everywhere getting arrested crucified cut their heads throwing throw, throwing them to the animals to the lions to the tigers today things are different and even in the old days as we saw in the Bible when there is a reason for women to be involved they involve it's about if it is possible for them to be involved they should be involved but because in the old days always it was a, like the man society it is the man who speak outside it's the man who go in the in the you know like let us say uh, what they call it parliament or whatever and this or the synagogue or you know and and the women they are just uh, you know like in the in the shadow today the story is different but as you see even in old days we find that women who they are unique they were able to accomplish very good work for his glory so i advise the christians not to act like the Muslims and not to say that Christian women she cannot teach that is a shameful understanding of the Bible they taught in many places they were judges they prophesy and they can bring a lot of people to Christ more than you and me if God gave a gift to someone who are you to say oh you don't have it and I gave you an example how my mother she used to correct Bishop honest to God each time the Bishop he come to our house our house my mother she school him you don't want to believe me it's up to you she school him and he have nothing to say you don't like even argue you know he don't argue he's a mute like okay you're right everybody have a gift there is people are qualified to be teachers there's people they are not qualified there's people they can bring people to Christ they are gifted there's people they are not gifted you see you remember the Bible speak about the talent which the Lord he gave to his servants and one of them he you know he make it uh, he double it uh, like many time and the other one twice etc and the other the other person he did not do any any change he just hide it 
so if the Lord he gave you a gift he will judge you by the gift he gave you and women who they are gifted they will be judged for not using their gift the same as any man so if you get an opportunity to bring somebody to Christ why we will not do so you are saying to me that if there is a person who need to learn about Christ and there is a woman there she can teach him about Christ then the woman she because she is a woman she is not allowed to save that man so he will go to hell that is your reasoning that is Taliban that is not Christianity do you understand me guys I saw many Christians speaking that women because they take a verse from the Bible they say this is what the verse is saying and okay it says don't teach you know but you know we need to understand the circumstances for for those verses and we will understand that there is women who used to go to the church and they keep talking talking about I made salad yesterday oh yesterday I color my hair there is some women they do silly act but not all women are the same same as not all men are the same there is men they do the same as women in the church too there is men they go to places just to look if there is some nice beautiful women there they are not going to the church the same as Muhammad there's a priest who they are child molester there's a priest they are criminals here we go they are men what does this have to do with this so my friends we can keep showing verses after verses after verses that women they do teach and as I said the first teacher for you in life it is your mother right who is the first one who teach you isn't it your mother what is the first thing you learn you know like in in a very real scenario it's your father who taught you maybe like a person who's born his mother she is she passed away or they were divorced she she gave up the baby or you know but generally speaking the first teacher you encounter in your life is your mother One of the reasons Islamic countries are still savage because they consider the women as a piece of dirt. More than 50% of the society are in disability because of that stupid thinking. Women, they are jailed in their houses. Women, they are not qualified to be leaders. Women, they are not qualified to be judges. Women, they are not qualified to be anything. What, what they are qualified for? Just take, you know, take off your panties, sleep in the bed. After we finish, you go to the kitchen. And the result is, we have a very savage society, and they will never reach anywhere. As simple as that. And look like there is many, they like that. You know, and they think they are like that. They are the one who found the, the the solution for for the story. That is not Christianity, and have nothing to do with the Christianity. But you know, people they have agenda. There is many men; they feel insecure if there is a woman. She is a smart standing next to them. This is why you see many men, they like to marry a woman, she is uneducated, and she is, let us say, ah, she is not in competition with me. It's a fact. They want women who they are stupid. When I say stupid, I mean they are not really stupid as... Uh, because they are God made them. No, he, they want them to be stupid. 
they like them to be stupid they like them to be silly they like them to be uneducated they this is why for centuries women they keep away from education because a man who have educated women and he is not confident he will not feel good when he sit at home he like to feel like he is the smart and no one else can talk nobody else have an opinion that is not in Christianity my friend in Christianity men and women they are complete to each other it is not the man this is not a man society it is the society of both but obviously there is many people they wanted to make it as a society of one side women what I understand from the Bible they should be teaching the bent in their qualification and where they can be found in the old society women usually they don't associate really with men especially strangers so who are they the ones they can teach usually women or children and this is what we found in different verse in the Bible do you see it they are teachers and they teach good things and because of their position for they are women who sit with women then they are teaching the young women and the young children because this was the nature of the society strange man is not allowed to enter the house and sit with the women unless he became like let's say close to the family Who is allowed those women? Who is allowing them to teach? Why they are, you know, like is teaching somebody, teaching a woman is less than teaching a man? I mean, think about it. If I am a qualified to teach a man and she is a qualified to teach a woman, isn't it both a human being and they are children of God? You guys, do you understand what I'm saying? It's the same mission. How she can be qualified to teach, but she is not qualified to teach at the same time. Either she is qualified to teach or she is not. So the second you say she can teach women, she can teach children. And we showed you examples about women teaching even men. Then they are, can be teachers. That means they have the qualification. Otherwise, we will not allow anyone to teach unless he is qualified. So don't quote verses and make a story out of it as I saw many Christians doing that. They do the same, exactly the same as the Muslims. In order to prove a point, they quote a verse and then they try to make a point based on that verse only. But this is not really accurate. We don't want to be the man's man like the man made religion the same as Islam, for it is not. Be careful, my friend. Women are very important in Christianity. The Orthodox Jews, until now, if you go in uh, if you go in Israel, you will see the Orthodox Jews. They throw rocks at women they are not covering their head. You know what? Even Muslims don't do that. I mean, there is some Muslims are very savage. There is Muslims who even throw acid. But there is Jews who do even the same. 
Muhammad, he learned a lot of savagery from the savage people around him. And Jewish people are always aggressive, especially toward women. They don't respect them. They consider them as a property. And they are always not even included to be part of the society. They are not even welcomed. That is not the story according to Jesus. I don't know what to say more. Or maybe I should maybe quote more verses to show those who they are saying women they cannot teach. I have a friends who they teach in churches and they believe that only women they should teach. I don't agree with them. I, I know I believe that this is absolutely wrong understanding for the Bible. All of us, all of us, we have a duty to bring people to Christ. And if a woman, she can bring somebody to Christ, who are you to say don't? However, I always advise women when they speak, actually just yesterday I mentioned in the video I made, that Christian women, you should stay away from speaking to Muslim men because those men are not talking to you because they want to learn. They are talking to you because you are a female. So here there's a man is coming to you because he is tempted by the gender. And we will not allow a Muslim man to do that to you. You are the daughter of Christ and you are working for a holy mission. For him, he see you in the devilish way. This is why you see Muslim men they wanted to talk to Christian women, but they don't want to come to Christian men to ask them about Jesus. If right now, a Christian lady is speaking about the topic we are talking about, you will see many Muslims, they want to call and talk to her because she's a female. That's it. So I am not against a Christian woman to teach. But she should be smart and to know who should she be involved with and where she should not be involved like you see a woman she is going to do a missionary in the jungle of wherever or she want to go to afghanistan that is not right the first thing will happen to you they will rape you because they are still savage and nothing changed this is why in the old time, those who they've been sent by Jesus, they were men. A Christian nun, she went inside jail in Philippines, full of criminals. They raped her. It's a fact. You can go and read the news. So there is a place as women they should not go to due to the nature of men and women there is men they are criminals there is men they are rapists there is risk involved and that risk should be avoided it's not about the risk of your life it's a lot more harmful this is why again i support women to teach but not everywhere Is what I'm saying, guys, clear? Does it make sense to you? Go where it is right for you to, do, to go. At the end of the day, there is always risk for a woman. The same as there is a risk for the man, but women, they have more risk. For they, ha they are... You know, there is a predator, they are looking for them just because they are women. It have nothing to do with being Christian. They don't care if you're a Christian or a Hindu or an atheist or it doesn't matter. All what they see, they see a woman. So, I believe that women, they should teach. As long as they are qualified. And I believe men, they should shut up as long as they are not qualified. <laughs> <laughs> let me give you an example 
all of you you know a guy his name uh, Muhammad James White you know him Prophet Muhammad James White this guy he have a PhD and supposedly he debated Muslims to defend the Christianity but in fact he always defend Islam and he do poo poo okay he's not a woman I heard women speaking about Islam exposing Islam and I heard this man who is a PhD guy and he is supposedly a, a minister for a church but nobody defend the cult, the cult of Islam as much he do. So what we will do now? So he's a qualified, but that woman is not a qualified. You know what I mean? Yeah, and the Bible says women they can teach, my friend. The Bible says that women they can teach, and they did. As you see, the story is in the front of you. There is a there is a chat room in Arabic in Paltok. Ninety percent of those who work in these chat rooms are females. And you should see when they debate a Muslim sheikh, what they do to him. They made him shish kebab. If you don't believe me, I can open the chat room for you right now. <laughs> Should I? Shall I? <laughs> Let us see. 90% 90 90 of the time, the one is teaching there, it is, it is a female. But female from the kind you like to listen to. The one who made Muhammad shish kebab every day, and when they ask about the Bible, she schooled them so easy as if nothing been asked. Let me open Pal Talk. <clears throat> Give me a second. Just to show you what women can do. بساطة احنا دلوقتي بنتكلم ايه سبب ان احنا زعلانين او ده من ناو انا بفهمك حاجة من ضمن الحاجات اللي مزعلانة فانت بتقولي ده تشريف وهو كان عايز يشرفها فانا بسألك ما معنى كلمة فرد بنت عمره اتفضل معاك المايك يا اشكر لو عايز سي ذا ادمن ناو از ا مان نمشي من الحته دي قول لي بس يوجوالي ذا ادمن از ا وومن انا اجاوب على التكست يا كازن <تصفيق> طب جاوبني انت على التكست ان يو شود سي وات دي دو تو مسلم مان وين دي اسك كويشنز اباوت ذا بايبل جاوب على التكست يا كازن اتفضل ان يو نو تو بي اونست ويز يو ام فيري براود اوف ذوس مريم ابنه عمران التي I'm very proud about those women. So my friend, don't be naive and don't go and I say, I believe in the Bible as, I, be, I believe, me myself, I believe in what the Bible teach. But the Bible teach that there is women who are teachers and they taught and they are judges and they are prophets. This is what the Bible says. Women, they should teach when they should teach. And women, they should not teach when they should not teach. As simple as that, which means when they are qualified, to do teaching if they are qualified if they have the gift of the holy spirit if they can speak for the lord if they can preach the word if they can bring people to christ let them do it because obviously they've been gifted and the gift is coming from from the heaven is not coming from you or from me same as men there's men they are not qualified to teach anyone your gender does not make you qualified to be, to be a teacher So stop the mentality of gender. And look like a human being would never change. I mean, still they will be savage and they will still always misquote just for the benefit, the man he misquote for the benefit of the man. They are willing to misquote the word of God just to keep themselves in charge. We need the women to be teaching. 
because if we don't then we will miss a great opportunity to save a lot of souls as simple as that I don't know what I can say to people. Anyway, I'm sure that some they will not agree, and I don't really care who I agree who's not. The Bible in the front of you, my friend. You can go, you can go right now, search in two seconds in Google says, see can women search. You will see many opinions, but you will see there's tons of verses in the Bible about women they were teaching and they are involved in Christianity, heavily involved. But as I said, people, they choose what they like. Right? I don't think any one of us can say that he did not learn something good from any women one day. What, you, learn? you never have a school teacher, she's a woman? <laughs> You know, and for sure they will say to me, well, a school teacher is not the same as teaching the Bible. My friend, my friend, no, no, no. Teaching the Bible, teaching the Bible is a holy mission. And when a person, he is decent, and the Lord use his or her tongue, she will speak decency. It's not her who will speak. If a person, he loved the Lord from his heart, and he is being decent regardless if it's a male or a female he will speak decency he will be able to bring people to Christ it's not about a gender it's very naive to believe that just because certain gender uh, let us say there's a certain gender can save us can teach us can give us good can do good so what we will do with the book of judges what we will do with exodus 15 what we will do with many verses in in the bible judge you know judges 4 uh, uh, verse 4 etc what we will do with those verses we just take what we like and we throw what we don't like. I believe strongly that it is for the benefit of the devil not to let women invite people to Christ. You see, when teaching is about, if teaching about authority, then women, they should not have that authority. If teaching about education, then I see no problem with that education. Let us say a woman, she is sitting in a train and there is a woman next to her or a man and he saw her reading the Bible and he uh, he said something or they open a conversation do you think this woman she should preach the gospel for him invite him to Christ or she should say well I am a woman and this guy he can say or this woman next to me can say whatever she want and I'm not going to invite her to Christ because I don't have the right to teach you see the Bible speak of authority of the man and this authority is the same as the authority of a Christ but in the same time the Bible explain that Christ he loved the church he ordered the man to love the church the same that to love the, his wife the same as a Christ he loved the church so the authority here is the authority of love 
you as a man you've been given authority but this authority not to be abusing to you to use it and abuse it but to use it for the benefit of the family for a better family and it should be an authority of love authority of sacrificing yourself for your family for your wife a woman she should be obedient to the man but not because she is his slave but because he loves her and she loves him obedient of love not obedient of slavery authority of love not authority of controlling anything is not based on love in Christianity is not valid and is not a Christian including authority including teaching including normal behavior including buying and selling because if a person he don't love people he will cheat on them he will sell them false bad product everything you do in life in life it should be based on love with others if somebody work for you you give him his wages not because of the authority of the law maybe you can get away with it maybe you don't have a paper to say I will pay you etc but because of the authority of love of Jesus you have to be decent you have to be a person who do right the authority of doing right not the authority of controlling I encourage women to bring people to Christ in the same time I encourage you not to be involved with Muslim men for a very clear reason I told you before because Muslim men they don't and they will never look at you as a decent woman trying to bring them to Christ they will always think about you as a private part so let us we are the men we speak to the men if a Muslim woman I talk to you let her talk to you if a Muslim want to talk to you a Muslim man let him talk to us this is totally different society far away from your culture and they look at women in a very dirty way and we explained to you many times before how Muslims and how Islam consider the women well it happened my friend that there is some women they get involved with Muslim men and Muslim men they love to do that and later they make them wear hijab and later they make them convert after he marry her you know he said to her well you know what if you want to stay with me and now you have a baby from me if you want to stay with me I, I, I really I cannot really stay with you and you are still a Christian he will force her at the end and she will convert there's many naive women in the West you see the problem is or this, this, the, 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 the problem of somebody want to teach or bring people to Christ if he is not qualified. That's what we said. You have to be qualified. You have to be educated. If you are not educated, then you don't go and put your nose in a risky place. Uh, 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 to, to give you an example, you know, when I joined the army, uh, the USA army, they start giving us uh, shots. Like we went to the like a nursing uh, clinic and this nurse she was like uh she was like a, I don't know a butcher you know so she gave us mo many many uh, shots but do you think the army giving us a shot because they want us to get sick no we are going to fight between or in the land of the enemy and there is many diseases involved so they want us to be ready and not to get sick there now we take the shot and we will get a little bit sick but then they will not get sick again so what I do here I give you the flu shot so you will not be under the influence of that illness before you go and to fight the devil you better learn who is the devil you know what I mean So you go even if you if a woman she want to speak to a woman, because if you are not educated, that Muslim woman she can make you, she can persuade, persuade you and make you believe Islam is a good religion. There's many Western women they've been fooled by this way, because they have no education and they have a maybe they have a good heart, but 
you know they, they've been fooled there is most of Western who convert to Islam not because they are bad those are not bad not bad people actually no those they are people who've been fooled and they did lie to them why because nobody really taught them the truth about Islam so before you go and involve with to bring people to Christ you better be armed with the Bible with the truth and with knowledge about Islam what Islam is about imagine you are trying to help somebody he have issues he have problems and you don't want to know where he is born you don't want to know what he study you don't want to know anything about him how you can help him you don't know what he believe you don't know what he don't believe you do not know what he accepts, you do not know anything, and you do not know how to debate him about his religion, so how you can bring him to Christ. In the same time, Muslims are very well trained to attack a Christianity because Islam based on attacking Christianity. So here we notice that the qualification have nothing to do with the gender as much it's about the knowledge. If you are a person of knowledge and you have enough education, it doesn't matter if you are a male or a female, you are safe and secure. But if you don't have education, they might get you. There is men who converted to Islam. Uh, yeah, I saw in the news uh, an Irish singer, she converted to Islam, but this woman, she changed her name every few years. You know, each time she converted to new religion, she changed her name you know mental people that is a that is a mental issue people they have some people they are looking for attention uh, nobody is talking about her and now she want to be a superstar and uh, you know she would become like uh, suddenly she became something very important people forgot about them and now they will remember me because here we go i converted to islam after a few weeks from now she will leave to different religion she will become hindu or buddha uh, they have history no no it's not about uh, you know they they do I, I i witness i witness many people like this you know there is in in the in the western countries there is there is uh, you know for me as an immigrant i came to the west i do not know really much about it when i came to america i have an image of america that's in the street we will see people shooting each other every day now, for sure, you will see that there's people who shoot in America, but this is happening everywhere. Uh, I have, uh, uh, like, you know, based on what I've been taught about America, uh, or about the West in general, that, uh, you know, Western people are very much educated, very intelligent, very smart, super, super, super smart, and we are the one who knows nothing. Look at our countries in the Middle East. So I was expecting really a very high end society. When I came to the West, I noticed that most of Western are not educated. Actually, I was shocked about how much uneducated they are. I have a neighbor after 11 years of 9-11. He did not know that Osama bin Laden is a Muslim. Is that telling you how much educated American are? I went with him in his truck. He have a truck to Home Depot. And, you know, like we came to the topic of Osama bin Laden. He did not know that Osama bin Laden is a Muslim. He said, really, he's a Muslim? <laughs> after nine, after 11 years. So, that that is America. I mean, what I can say? It's a fact. There's things here you cannot even believe. Uh, uh, just today I saw a video in YouTube. They are making an interview about who you think they should come to America. They were saying everybody should welcome. We should not build walls. We should. It, it's the hippie mentality. There's a lot of hippies. They have. They have nothing. They have. 
they have no education they have no self uh, uh, you know like research they are just copy paste they told them that you know it's evil to build walls well why you have a fence why you have a door in your home why you have a key for your door why you have a key for your car why you have a password for your email why you have a password for your 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 bank account give us to give it to us it's evil to have a wall this is a wall you know what i mean stupidity oh we should not build the wall this is evil suddenly like you know and they are you know the, the, the microphone is held by a gay he is wearing like women clothes this is evil we should not we should allow everybody to come oh, okay what this guy is talking about oh sorry this girl The same as they lecture us about global warming, but yet all of them, they are driving the most fancy, expensive cars with six or eight cylinder. Al Gore, he schooled us about not to leave the light in the bathroom on when he is flying with his private jet just to make a speech. Right? Don't be don't be silly like them. Don't be silly, don't be savage in the same time. Don't be strict like a rock. Open your mind. Don't be open minded, open your mind. I don't believe in something called open minded. It's, it's stupid and it's not true. You know, when somebody says uh, he is open minded, what does that mean? Like somebody can sleep with your wife, it's okay with you? What do you mean in your open mind? What does that mean? I remember once uh, I met with the woman and her husband in a coffee shop and you know obviously they believe in a cult it's kind of like the same as Jehovah's Witnesses in the Philippines uh, you know like and she got upset so she said to me please I respect your your beliefs or respect mine I said I don't respect yours how I don't believe how I believe that yours is a devilish and then I will say I respect your belief. You know what I mean, guys? Do I respect the Muslim belief? I don't. Is that because I'm rude? No. I don't respect satanic teaching. If this is if I believe this is satanic teaching, how in the world I will say to you, I respect. So you notice that many people they've been taught to say, I respect your belief. That is not a statement to say. That is a stupid statement to say. It's a hypocrisy. You are a hypocrite. How you are disagreeing with him and then you say to him, I respect your belief. You don't. You are just being a liar. You are just being a hypocrite. I don't respect your belief. And why I should respect your belief? I mean, what does this have to do with being good or bad? So they fool you and they teach you certain words to say and they, those words is meaningless. It, it's just a sign of hypocrisy. They want to establish uh, uh, like a society of hypocrisy. So th they try to make like as an example, Trump is the evil man who want to build a wall. But Mexico has a wall. <laughs> Nobody speak against Mexico. <laughs> Cuba have a wall. Saudi Arabia have everybody have a wall. It's called border. Wall is not necessarily a really a real wall, but there is many countries they have. And the, uh, there's a guy from California. He said, "What the, what the wall of China did? Look at this idiot! <laughs> what the wall of China did? <laughs> this guy, this this is stupid. He thinks the wall of China is the border of China now. Lord have mercy. Oh." Uh, Anyway, we have to be smart and teaching and preaching have nothing to do with gender. 
but everyone should know his place. If you are gifted and you can do it, go for it. If you can bring one person to Christ, hallelujah. If you cannot, then let somebody else do the, do the work. As simple as that. Many people, they go to the church, but there is one or two, they take the stage. But the church is full of men and women. Well, there is, there is somebody qualified in the church to teach. There is mostly the rest, they don't. They are not. Same time, don't learn to be hypocrite from those who teach you hypocrisy every day in the news, every day in the media, every day in your school. You see, as an example, I noticed that the, the, the people who speak about uh, human rights mostly are socialists. But socialists, they are the most people who torture people in the earth. China, as an example, Stalin, as an example. Nobody, I mean, they, they killed millions and millions of people. They speak about a human right defending the, the cats and the dogs rights but they are the one who sign a law for abortion they want to kill babies but they want to protect cats they are so worried about a caravan coming from honduras but in the same time they do everything ugly in the book and they are they don't feel sorry about it as an example obama he donated more than 600 million dollars to the terrorists in syria to kill whoever they can kill. Nobody question. They don't question themselves about the evil they do. All right? Everything they stand for, I find it hypocrite and false. I could not find one thing they stand for is true. You see, they say they are supporting immig immigration, but they don't really support immigration. They are supporting a party. The purpose of all this immigration deal, that they will bring more people who they will vote for Democrat because the more we have immigrant, the more Democrat we have. For we promise them they are illegal. We promise them that we are the one who will give you a green card. So it's very normal that they will vote for us when they get to be citizen. As simple as that. So by time, we will have majority you know, like, uh, let's say, a citizen who they are immigrant, new immigrant, and they will be Democrat, and so this is a way we control the country. And what will happen to the country next? Who care? They don't care. I am an immigrant, and I support Trump. You don't know who is coming with this caravan? If those can come in a caravan, well, every nation can come to us in a caravan. Imagine, you see, just to show you the, the, the stupidity of those liberals, Obama was a president for eight years. Why Obama did not go in the stage and announce that from now on there is no visa? <laughs> Anyone can come. Do it. The whole world will be here tomorrow. And then after they come here tomorrow, all of them, they will go back. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why they will go back after they come here? Because if you open the borders, America will not be America no more. The country will turn poor. The country will turn the same savage, you know, people killing each other, thieves, criminals, drugs. People will leave. You and me, we will leave. So when, when those liberals, they speak about what they call it right, it's absolutely a self-destruction. It's not right. It's stupid. I want to see those. I, I want to see Hillary Clinton. She opened her palace and she host maybe like a hundred family of Hindus. Why she don't do that? Why Obama don't take them in his big house? Why do they don't donate their money for the people of Honduras who is coming in the caravan? Ah, they want to spend money from the government, not their money. Ah, the money of the poor people who work like donkeys to pay tax. Not their money.
right? So they use those people for political agenda to make themselves they are the good ones and you are the you know like you are the evil one. You want to build a wall? How dare you? How dare you to build a wall? I wonder how many bodyguard walk with Hillary Clinton and Obama. Why you are building a wall? <laughs> uh, anyway, so anyway, my friend, I really encourage encourage all the Christians uh, to encourage women to teach. But as I said, they should be careful. They are involving with who and how and where you don't go to Afghanistan to be a missionary and you are a woman that is a stupid Christian should be smart you don't go to a savage country and you are a woman the first thing will happen to you I guarantee you you will be raped so we should be smart but anyone who can bring somebody to Christ, he or she will do a wonderful job. And that will be amazing to accomplish. Do we have any Muslim in the in the bushes? Hey guys, sorry for those who say hi CP. I don't I don't answer, but as you see, we we don't care if Obama is a Muslim now or not. He's a Muslim, obviously. I mean, this guy he he hired the Muslim Brotherhood, he established the Islamic State in Syria, he sponsored the Muslim Brotherhood in the in Libya. He, you know, the 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 USA ambassador was killed because Obama and Hillary Clinton they sent weapon to the Muslim Brotherhood. Hillary Clinton she met one person from the whole country of Libya. Imagine Libya, all the country. She met only one person, which is the head of the Muslim Brotherhood. The plan is very simple, is to establish a Muslim Brotherhood Caliphate state. This was the plan of Obama. All the way from Turkey, all the way to Tunisia. And then the plan is to smash Israel. This is why you see Obama until the end, until like the, uh, the last day of his election, he was totally against Israel. Two weeks before he is over, before the election day, Obama, he signed an agreement with Israel to give them an extra support. Why? Just because to fool the Jews to make them vote for Hillary Clinton. See how the evil people walk? But Obama, within eight years, he was hurting Israel badly. And... I hope the Jews they learn their lesson and they will stop supporting Democrat but I don't think so the Jews majority of them they are Democrat they are liberals whatever that word mean but as you see each time the Jews they vote for someone he is the one who screw them Excuse my language. Except this time, Trump, he keep his promises. And that's what I like about this guy. Everything he said in the election, he did. He said he will move the embassy to Jerusalem. He did. All the president before him, including Obama, he promised to move it to Jerusalem, but nobody did. It was just an election promise. And the plan, by the way, Democrats right now they are taking trying to take over the, the, the seats and the Congress and Senate. And the plan is if they were able by the money of Soros, they will impeach Trump and they will take him off from his presidency. I hope they will not be able to succeed to, 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 to be able to do so because that will be very dangerous. They might even make a civil war in USA. Because there's tons of millions will go really crazy if they take Trump out of the office very dangerous time and I'm very sure they will try to do so if they can 
but I hope that the coming election which is in the 6th of November and I will be sure to go and vote and I will vote for Trump for sure I will be sure that you know I pray that they will not win and you know the the word is funny that someone like me a guy who is an immigrant I'm not born here and supposedly I'm an Arab and yet I am teaching American to love America it's funny isn't it there's many in America I saw a lot of American who they are really lucky to be American they don't like this country which is the most stupid thing ever you can imagine you you see you do not know how lucky you are to be an American until you live in different country don't you see people coming walking in their feet coming from Honduras do you know why <laughs> American they are so upset America is a bad country America is etc blah 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 go my friend go go take I never heard of somebody trying to apply to be a citizen in Afghanistan why you don't go immigrate there I mean go there is many countries go to Somalia join the pirate school you they will get you a PhD to be a pirate no don't leave Europe my friend if you leave your Europe you lost your country forever no stand there and fight for your rights stay there don't do that don't give up no things can be fixed you will see Europe will change for better you see always always things get worse and then it get better and this is what happened in America the Democrat they control America for 40 years 40 years Republican they never have place 40 years you believe it and then suddenly the one who people they think they are not there they took over don't leave it for them take it back and we will take it back we will take back whatever belongs to us and nobody can take it from us people they can take things from you only if you give up and you decide to be a coward people who fight for their rights they never lose as simple as that you know look at us we as an Arab Christians we are a small minority in the Middle East if you believe it or not I believe we are going to take the Middle East back all of it all the Middle East is going to be Christian again all of it not a single inch will not be Christian land and actually it's happening don't make them fool you they are losing you know uh, uh, what's happening in the world around us remind me if you remember uh, before the election uh, when when it when Trump he won the election you know what I mean everybody they made you believe that that's it Trump he lost everybody lost hope actually even me I and that day I don't know how many of you remember I I have my live chat and I said guys I'm I'm just that's it I'm going you know and I decide to sleep I don't want to see this I don't want to see another eight years of the filthy Obama to continue with the filthy you know corrupt women uh, Clinton the Clinton Mafia so I went to bed and I tried to sleep but you know something like I I don't I don't I, I something told me there is something will happen I opened the TV again and honest to God I turned the light off I lay down my bed I cover myself I usually when I, when I when I sleep I don't even cover like my I don't cover myself so I cover myself because I don't want to even think about it maybe I can sleep but I could not then I turn up the TV and the news was coming like like MB, like a like a volcano you know an eruption 
I was shocked. And then I said to myself, how in the world I give up? This is not me. This is not me. And thanks God, in the day of the election, I went and I went and I voted because everything in the media is saying to us, you will lose. That's it. This guy, he have no chance. They are saying in the in the in the polls that you know the chance of her to win is like ninety seven percent. I mean, this guy is that is is history. And then what happened? It was totally the opposite. And I remember that day, I had the most funny night ever. How those liberals are crying, and you know, I remember there is there is a uh, there is a show. It's called The Young Turk. Anyone knows what I'm talking about? The Young Turk. Go and search right now for The Young Turk election day. You will see them speak, saying the F word, giving giving the finger to each other in the TV. You believe it or not? This is how savage they are. Giving the middle finger in the screen in the TV. This guy, the Muslim guy, he's the atheist supposedly now. He was saying, "I'm going to burn you. I'm going to burn you, Democrat. I'm going to cut your 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 your. You know, I'm not going to support you anymore. Forget it. You are history. You are a bunch of stupid idiot. Blah 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 blah. Go and watch it. Very savage, very dirty tongue. There's a woman there, she was with them. She have a very filthy mouth. Obviously, she is a whore. A whore in TV. They thought they took over the country forever. And they never thought that there is a Christians in this country. They thought we are dead, that's it. And all of this happened, by the way. And then now, go, go, just the, the video yesterday, you will see a Christian saying a Christian should not be involved in politics. This is the result of teaching of generations of churches that saying to the Christians that we Christians should not be involved in politics. And what is the result? Those people took over. They took over and they start saying you should not allow to have a cross in the top of your building. You should not allow to have a, a, a t-shirt says Jesus. You should not. You are not allowed to have a Bible in the hotel. This is because your teacher, your teachers, the one you say you claim that they are wise, they told you that we as a Christian should not be involved in politics. So if we don't get involved in politics and they involve in politics, so who is going to defend our right? Time will come and they will force your child to learn how to be a gay only. This is the only option. Actually, in California, they are forcing children to go and attend gay marriage. They are forcing them. You send your child to school to learn education. And then you find later when your child come back that the school teacher, she took them in a bus and took them to a gay marriage. This is because you don't want to be involved in politics. Are you happy? And this is why we as a Christian should be involved. Don't be a politician with their lies. Be an ambassador for Christ. They do politician. We do something else. We do what is right. Are you getting my point? For them, this is politics. For us, this is a Christianity. You have to take a stand or you will have no place. If you don't defend your right, you have no rights. If you don't speak your voice, you have no voice. I mean, isn't it simple to understand?
I supported Trump not because he's sent <laughs> you know Trump is nowhere to be a saint or to be uh, like you know uh, 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 whatever you want to call him but this guy is a one billion time than what they stand for guys for those who do not know do you know that England 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 today is not capable to fight any country to defend itself it have 60,000 soldier that's it this is what the liberals does you know and by the way in Europe you might find like a party called like in, in Germany uh, the Christian uh, whatever they call themselves the Christian but they are they have nothing to do with the Christians they are liberals don't don't don't, don't make them fool you with those names Liberals, they brought nothing but self-destruction to themselves. And we will not allow that to happen. After after you lose Europe, lose Europe and you lose America, where, where you, will, you will go? You will be a refugee in... Uh, in Baghdad, in Iraq, what you would do? What exactly the plan? By the way, I love this picture here. Let me share it with you. I have it always in my computer. This kid is is really. <laughs> This Bible, look, look how old this Bible is. And this kid, hardly you can see his head, but he is reading. That is a beautiful picture. And this is how you can make a Christian strong society. You start with your children. You teach them what they need to learn. Don't let them be under the influence of the liberals. Who they teach them everything wrong I never saw you know first time I arrive to USA at that time I don't have like uh, you know I don't know anything really about USA so I bought a TV uh, I was living in a studio apartment and because you know I don't have cable so you receive whatever is in the antenna you know what I mean so I opened the TV and then there was a woman speaking and you know i'm just um, like i don't know what i'm doing like kitchen it's a small studio so like it's a the one room the whole apartment anyway so then she was saying you should use your two fingers <laughs> and you know my english is not really that good but i was able to understand clearly what she is talking about she was speaking about if you have a partner when you start having sex with him in order not to make it painful in the beginning, you insert two fingers in his anus. This is what they teach in California. It was a 3 p.m. afternoon, public TV, government TV. So you have a child in the age of this kid. He opened the TV and he see in the TV a filthy woman teaching him that if you have a partner, you put your two fingers in his anus. What you expect? Three p.m. This is the first program I saw when I opened the TV. You feel like you are reading Muhammad wisdom. This is something you hear in Islamic religion when you open an Arabic TV, Islamic TV. They teach you all this garbage. Do you remember the guy, guys, who who did who put the suicide bombing bomb in his ass? He tried to kill the prince in Saudi Arabia. The one who was the crown prince before. He had, you know, in order to to uh, to uh, put a bomb inside his anus to insert it there. They made him have sex with 
another guy or many guys so they can make it uh, uh, big and then they insert insert the bomb inside his private part when they asked the mullahs about why how you allow such a thing are you allowed to be a gay in Islam he said no but this is because there is a mission here the mission is lawful so that the, so the act is lawful he did not do it because he want to be a gay he did do it because this prince they want to kill him that is Islam there's Abdul saying that you have a filthy mouth my friend why you don't call me and let us talk about filthy mouth isn't it your prophet he said and he promised you that if you convert to Islam if you believe in him he will give you a penis will never go sleep will never go limp will never go soft isn't it your prophet he promised you that your penis will be endless is that filthy or what do you want to call me Abdul you see the Muslims they attack me this guy his name is Muhammad Usof why you don't call me let us see who have who is the one who have a dirty mouth what about your Quran describing the women boobs for you in heaven is it true that the Quran describing the women boobs in heaven that they will be firm is that correct and there will be boobs of women who they are youth is that dirty talk or not is it true that the Quran described the vagina you will receive in the heaven that this vagina is not nobody drill any anything in it yet exactly what I'm saying I'm just trying to be nice not to say the bad words are you there Muhammad Muhammad he was the greatest you could call me okay let me open my Skype guys Muhammad was the greatest of example I want to see that do you do you like to call me why you don't call me right now and show me how he was the great example I want to see that no problem I challenge you to show us I'm not going to ask you any question you choose the topic you mentioned to us how the great example he is and I will be uh, happy to hear you go ahead call me I am right now on on Skype do you have the courage to call Hello? Call me, come on. I want to see the best example. Is that is that the best example, really? Hmm. What happened? Muhammad is the best example. Is that because he married a child? She is six years old. If we can call it marriage. Is that because he flirted with his own son wife when she is in the house of her husband? She's still married. Can you trust Muhammad to come to your house? Be honest. Is that because Muhammad he was accused that he stole an underwear by his companion? Which one will make him the best man? Is that because he encouraged men not to marry women who they are widow but to marry children? No, it's not about hit and run. You see, the Muslim they speak as long as you don't confront them. But the second you start shooting, they play dead. They play dead right away. And after I hang up and go, the Muslim, they will start posting, this guy is a liar. Don't believe him, he's a liar. Muhammad is the best example for mankind. Why? Because he said the man, he can lie in three cases to his wife, to his friend, to his family. Who's left? Hmm? Or maybe because Muhammad was the best man to teach us even how to clean ourselves to the point he after he do poo poo he clean his hands by drying them in the wall. 
I guarantee you that in the wall of Muhammad in his bedroom we have a paint of Picasso made from the poop of Muhammad they have an interview with the what his name an actor uh, somebody remind me what his name this guy here Jean-Claude Jean Van Damme he was in Saudi Arabia or, <laughs> or Emirat so they asked him you know this guy he's in a Muslim country he's making a movie there so he want to make the Muslim happy he knew they are you know like uh, somebody advised him to say that so they will be so happy from him so they said to him how you can keep yourself like in good shape he said why not I mean in this in this age you are old now and you keep yourself in good shape he said as an example I will give you the best example the Prophet Muhammad <laughs> learn from him <laughs> learn from him how to be healthy and to stay clean yeah all right actually I have the video still in my my channel you can watch it and laugh the best example yeah the best example who have a fleas all over him and in order not to, to explain why he's full of a fleas he ordered the Muslims not to curse the fleas or the lice because they are blessed animals why because they don't let prophet sleep so they will sit so they will pray to Allah if, 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 if that's that is a deep wisdom the only religion who blessed the fleas and the lice is Islam sound like Democrat to me don't you find like similarity between Democrat and Muhammad if you ask a Democrat person should we call the lies should we kill it they will say don't put the border don't build a wall in the front okay we have a lies don't kill the lies okay why we cannot kill the lies it's haram respect life Muhammad kill a human being but he blows the lies he killed tens of thousands of people but he said to them Allah bless the lies actually I don't know I heard that there is one of the lies who used to live in the panty of Muhammad she is writing her diary book right now and I hope she will not publish it soon a lot of scandals will be there imagine this lies how much she witnessed she was living right there in the panty of Muhammad so she saw everything and she heard everything The diary of the prophet lies. Oh boy. And the director of the movie, we will make a movie about it, and the director will be Zakar Naik. And the one who will do makeup will be Shabir Ali. And the one who will collect 50 pounds will be Muhammad Hijab. <laughs> Muhammad Hijab. Brother, sister, don't forget, don't forget to sponsor our video by 50 pound, please. 50 pound? I mean, this guy, he don't accept five, he don't accept 10, he don't accept 15, he accepted 20. No, no, it has to be 50 pound. 50 pound to sponsor a video. Why? You made the video from gold? And he was accusing. What happened to my YouTube? Uh, he was accusing David Wood that he is making a living from attacking Islam. <laughs> and he have a big sign in his video. It says, brother, don't forget to sponsor us 50 pounds to sponsor this video. 50 pounds? I mean, you are very, I mean, this is, uh, this is after discount must be. This is really good. I mean, this is very cheap. This guy is doing missionary to the point he want 50 pounds to sponsor this video from everyone who watch it and he have 72,000 subscriber uh, the follower are the same as the prophet prophet who have no prophecy do we have any Abdul I know 60 bucks and imagine he have a lot of subscribers so this guy I mean this is a good business I don't know. 
50 pound how come you guys are cheap where is your 50 pound why nobody send me the 50 pounds come on i want i my, my name is muhammad hijab send me the 50 pound brother well i understand you know forget i mean look at it in in different way me as a christian person let us say i want to get married i will marry from a one woman so my responsibility is a lot easier than his he would have four wives brother so he should receive four times more than any normal person that makes sense he have a very heavy duty to do he have four wives and four mother-in-law and 40 kids hmm Yeah, you remember Muhammad in the Quran, he said, he told them that Allah told me that before you speak to me in a private, you have to pay me a consultation fees. Obviously, he is a prophet. Obviously. Yeah. So where is the guy he want to call me? He made me log in sky for nothing. Really, the prophet he forbid Islam uh, women abuse. <laughs> Look at this lie. Muhammad himself he used to work for Khadija before Islam. After Islam, what, what is what is the women like Khadija? What is the business women? Khadija she was a business woman and men work for her. There was no Islam. This is Quraysh before Islam. What happened? What a big fat lie. A man he wanna stop the abuse of women, he will allow the men to beat their wives and to have four of them in the same time. Isn't it abuse to have many women? This is abuse. Women have a feeling. Imagine, you know, like I mean, think about it this way. What if the women she have four husbands and you are just one of four guys live with with one woman in one apartment? Isn't it this is a humiliation itself? Don't you feel humiliated? You know what I mean, guys? Why it's okay for the man to have four wives, but it's not okay for the women to have four husbands. That would humiliate the women. It's a it's a disrespect. And it's obviously it's a loss. Because a man he wants more women, he is not looking, he's not seeking love, he is seeking sex and uh, you know, he want to be spoiled by slaves. Right? If a man he love, he love a woman. He don't love women. The man who love all women, obviously he love their body. He's in, in love in sexuality. Not the women itself. Any woman, she can do the job and she is... Uh, Good looking, she is good. That is not love, that is lost. And the funny, the Muslim, they justify uh, why they have many women. They say there is there is uh, there is more women than men. So what women will do now? They will do bad things. That's not true. Society are different, and as long let us let us uh, let us see how logical that is. So you are saying. If in the society we have more women than men, so men they can have more women. Okay, what if we have more men than women? As an example, right now in China, the society have more men than women. In China, they have a big, big problem. There's more men. So what we would do now? Are you allowing the Muslim to marry one woman she can marry four husbands? And then you will see the hypocrisy of the Muslims right away. They will say, no, no, no. So this is not about nothing to do about solving a problem. You are creating a problem. And if this is really because there is a problem in the society, there's more women than more than men. Why Allah don't solve it in different way? What about Allah? He create equal number of men and women. <laughs> if Allah is in control and he noticed that there's a problem, because remember the one who said you marry four to fix the problem is Allah supposedly, right? Okay. Can't Allah fix it without doing this? Can't he fix it by saying, okay, I will create you 
so every woman she will find a man can't he or maybe Allah is uh, not the Almighty who can do that I don't know if CP saw it so what I'm not sure <clears throat> About, about Hamza, this man has a big mouth and he said he will debate any Christian and prove the Bible is wrong. My friend, why you don't bring him to me, Hamza, this guy? Let him call me. Any Muslim, you know him. Please let us let, let him come here. Uh, Muhammad, peace be upon him, forbid any killing. Even his followers were being killed until the order of retaliation from Allah Islamic website yeah this is true <laughs> as long as it's a Muslim website this must be true true story true story you know once uh, just to show you the hypocrisy of the Muslims anything Muhammad is saying it must be true once we have a we have an exam I was a student in the school and the teacher he hate me truly truly he hate me because always I make make him look stupid and look look foolish uh, <clears throat> so one day you know we have an exam and he corrected the exam and he now he want to give us the papers this guy, he is coming to this to the classroom, and he is so excited. Right away, he called me by name. Stand up, I stood up, and he starts saying, "Do you see this guy? Always he make himself. He's smart. He know what he's talking about. Blah 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 la 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 la. This guy, he wrote, he he made the mistakes." Arabic mistakes, grammar mistakes, pronunciation mistakes, spelling mistakes, even donkeys don't do. Even idiot don't do. A five years old kid will not do. I mean, this guy, he keep insulting, insulting. He's keep keep going. And I have a smile on my face. And like he's looking at me, and he don't understand why I'm not angry, like I'm not as if nothing happened. After he called me all kind of names, which you cannot imagine how ugly, disgusting they are. He thought he was take, seeking like he, he, got, he got his revenge from me, finally. After he finished, he said to me, what? You are not saying anything. What do you want to say? Huh? How you make such a stupid mistake? Are you a donkey or what? I said, sir. I don't know why you are saying that. This is how it's written in the Quran. <laughs> the second I say that, his face turned to be like a lizard. Blue, red. You see his under under his uh, his cheek is shaking. Honest to God, he is shaking. He is shaking like 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 you know, like you, you have a laundry machine, the dryer. He is shocked. He just called me all the names in the world for writing the word like this, and now it is in the Quran written this way. When we reach this point, the ring of the you know the class is over. This was the last class in the day, so we are going home. The guy he got terrified because now those kids will go to their parents and they will say to them there's a guy he wrote the word as it is in the Quran and the teacher claim that whoever write it this way is a donkey is a stupid is an idiot is a is a is a <laughs> so he closed the door he said no 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 nobody nobody leave nobody leave nobody leave nobody leave he's right he's right this is how it's written absolutely he is right <laughs> absolutely this is the perfect way to write it and he start explaining, like you know, I was trying to see if any one of you will notice a lot. But he start creating all kind of lies to cover his ass because now they will go home. This guy he might get killed for this. 
and I did it in purpose. I know he is a stupid. I know he is a donkey. I know what he will say. I was waiting for him to do it. So he was calling me names, and I was like, hmm, hmm, like, you know, and he was wondering, like, why this guy is not, he should be, like, he is seeking revenge for almost the whole year for me always showing people that this guy is an idiot. He does not know what he's talking about. And now finally he got his opportunity. How you write the word this way? Are you donkey or what? Even donkeys will not do it. A five years old child will not do it. What's wrong with you? Aren't you ashamed? Actually, I should talk to the principal to take you back to few like to, to different class to that to that to the young ones. And then when I said to him, This is how it's written in the Quran. <laughs> and my friend, this is how we do it. So do you do you understand why I say always this is how we do it? This is how we do it. You see, if you say that a Muslim right away the Quran is a stupid, he will not agree. So you have to say it in a different way. Here we go. I just made the Arabic teacher who teach Arabic say and admit that the Quran is a stupid book and the Arabic of the Quran is garbage. I cannot say it myself. I am a Middle Eastern Christian in the Middle East, majority are Muslim. I will be killed same day. I made the Arabic teacher say it. That's why the Muslim, they are not calling me because the Muslim, they made an article about how to debate Christian prince. I wish I can find it again. They, in the in the in the article they were saying it's a, it's a Christian prince he asked you any question don't say yes don't say no even if you say the prophet was a good man don't say yes because he would trick you <laughs> don't say yes don't say no how we can debate then have you ever heard of a debate and the person who debate the other one he should not say yes or no don't ever say yes or no even if he say to you was the prophet a good man don't say yes there is something behind it. And this is why those Abdul's, they will not call me. Brother, he will trick you. Did you see the, the chat room, uh, the one I opened for you? The one in Arabic? <clears throat> this was many, many years ago. I, you know, I was like, uh, I have a friend there. He used to be an admin. And they call himself Easy, like as a nickname. So they have a Muslim. Always he came to the chat room and he said to them, you, you take the mic, he say, Christians, you are the sons of the devil. Now, the reason he says that, because Muhammad, he told the Muslims that if you have sex with your wife and you don't say a certain prayer that, you know, Allahumma jannibna shaytana wa ta 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 blah, 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 blah. If you don't say that prayer, shaytan will rub himself around the penis of the man and he will be the one doing your mother. So you will be the son of the devil. So the guy, he come always to the room, he take the mic and he installed the Christians and they don't know what to say to him. So this admin, he says to me, can you take the mic and answer this guy? I mean, he became so annoying. He keeps saying that. I said, why you, why you don't do it? He said, I don't know what to say. I'm sure you, you come with something. We'll shut him up. So I took the microphone and I told him, <clears throat> so, hey, Abdul, you are saying that we are the sons of the devil. Are you sure? He said, yes, I'm sure. I said, why you are you saying that? And I know he will quote, <clears throat> he will quote that hadith. <clears throat> so he said that. And then I said to him again, are you sure? He said, yes, I am sure. I said to him three times, because Muslim always like to repeat three, like Muhammad, three, three times. Are you sure? He said, yes, I'm sure. I said, are you, are you sure this hadith is sahih? He said, I am sure. <laughs> then I said to him, Abdul, as long you believe that this hadith is sahih and your prophet, he told the truth, that anyone who, who have sex with his wife, and he don't say that a prayer, he will be the son of the devil, Based in your convinced, like convincing, a convincing story, that means your prophet himself is the son of the devil, <laughs> because his father was not a Muslim, and he did not say that the prayer when he'd have do cuckoo cuckoo with his mother. <laughs> <laughs> I 
the guy he took the mic he said to me may Allah kill you may Allah may Allah send the train to go over you may Allah you, you have the intelligence of the devil I have the intelligence of the devil it's not them who have the stupidity of the devil it's me who have the intelligence of the devil you stupid idiot you keep calling us sons of the devil because our father did not say the prayer of Muhammad when he have sex with our mother what about the father of Muhammad no 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 this time it was in a, in a, uh, it was a Christian room it was not a Muslim room you know but this is how they are they, they just copy paste they repeat what they heard and nobody want to use his, his brain if I don't I don't think they have one how you keep saying that anyone who don't say this prayer he will be the son of the devil and then your prophet himself his father was not a Muslim and his mother was not a Muslim another time in a in a Muslim chat room just to show you how Muslims are I went in the room and the second you see that when I go in pal talk in a Muslim room especially in the old days the room will be like snoring <laughs> nothing is moving it's like everybody is like dead rabbit the second they see they see my name the room grows so fast and they start inviting each other from everywhere and the room will be like having two admins and suddenly you will see many 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 admins and then the abdul he said to me christian prince christian prince be a man and come to the mic christian prince christian prince so Christian brains come to the mic and I say to them well you know that the Prophet was a good man and he never steal all the Muslim in the text they say to me liar liar he never raped any women liar liar he is not a child molester liar liar anyway after I saying all those things the admin he could not take it no more he gave a dot to the whole room he said you stupid idiot he made it again in our room he just made you insult the prophet from your mouth. He was saying to you, the prophet was a good man. You say to him, liar. He is not a child molester. You say to him, liar. You say, he did not kill a woman. She is eight years. You all say to him, what's wrong with you? They are not listening. They are stupid. I was saying Muhammad is a good man because in their mind that this is a Christian prince, he will never say something good about the prophet. So whatever he say, we just say he's a liar. And this is why in the article they said if a Christian prince he asks you a question or say something, don't say yes, don't say no, because there is a trick behind. <laughs> Are you getting the point why they say don't say yes, don't say no? So they were expecting me to say something negative, and I know it. So I took the mic, he said, Well, I'm being sarcastic, you know. Yeah, when well, you know what? The prophet he never raped a woman for sure liar liar he never killed anybody for the sake of the money liar he was not a child molester absolutely not liar um, this is how they are and the liar was coming like like rocks you know like oof. the only one notice uh, let me tell you this one this is this is even the funniest one I went to an Arabic, uh, Arabic Islamic room in Arabic. It's a huge room, so and I posted in Arabic in the in the chat. I said today, guys, Allahu Akbar. The last news: the Pope and his third wife and his mother who passed away last year today they converted to Islam. <laughs> the admin he saw my text in the. He said, guys, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Stop, 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 stop the text, stop the text the the pope third wife and his mo mother who passed away last year she converted to islam today allahu akbar allahu akbar takbir allahu akbar and the, the room they went crazy it's they have like 600 people there they were paying to a room to fit for 1000 people and the room was going so crazy i mean everybody takbir allahu akbar takbir allahu akbar i mean this is this is a nation of a drugs Everybody is in everybody is high, and then one of them he said, well, Hold on, hold on a second, hold on. One of the admins, he's smart, supposedly. He said, Hold on, brothers, how she passed away last year and she converted to Islam today. <laughs> and the Pope, third wife, 
The Pope don't have women. Like, just say anything. I mean, you you go right now, make any lie. I guarantee you. Create and say Trump converted to Islam. All the Muslims will copy the post and they will get millions of you. It doesn't matter what you say. Just say something good about the Prophet or something will make Islam look better. They will copy it. They will repeat it and they will say takbir. Nobody want to use his brain because they don't have it. How you can use something you don't have? The Pope's third wife and his mother who passed away last year, she converted to Islam today. And hundreds of Muslims saying takbir, Allahu Akbar. And you should see how the admin, I posted, I said nobody will notice. I mean, the room is so busy, the text is going crazy. The, the admin, he said, stop, 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 text. Allah, brothers, hold, hold on. Look what this guy, he said there. The Pope, third wife, and his mother who passed away last year converted to Islam today. Allahu Akbar. And almost he's going to cry. <laughs> ah. Huh. There is a there is a say in China. I like it. It says, "He left as a donkey. He never came back as a horse." And this is what happened to you when you follow a donkey. You will never be a horse. If the teacher who teach them is Muhammad, if the teacher he teach them that Allah he stuff my throat and my stomach with wisdom and faith and they believe in that All right <clears throat> oh boy It's not good to uh, to love too much, by the way. It make you gain weight, just to let you know. The best way to lose weight is to be sad. So let us uh, let me tell you a sad story now. There is a the once the prophet he went to the desert and he wanted to do poo poo. Yeah, this is a true story. He wanted to do poo poo, but the prophet he could not find a place to hide his ass to do poo poo. So he saw from far away two trees. And he ordered the guy, his servant, slave, to go and call the trees to come. And the trees, they come to him walking. And then the trees, they surrounded the prophet from both sides. So they can cover his both ass side. And they keep moving around him in shade. To keep him in shade. Muslims, by the way, how in the world they want to keep him in shade? How many hours Muhammad is doing his poo-poo? I mean, when you say to me the trees are moving to keep him in shade, obviously Muhammad, he stayed there doing poo, -poo for 10 hours. <laughs> I mean, this is too much. That's very sad. That's why I say this is a very sad story. A prophet of God, and he's spending the half day to do poo, poo to the point the trees is moving around to keep him in shade? What he's doing there? He's stuck? And the trees are moving? That's a miracle. You, you, you say, you guys, you say the prophet have no miracles. Here we go. The trees, and not only that, the trees, they came to Muhammad once and they said shahada. I saw a talking tree in the cartoon and in Islam. Is that correct, Muslims, that the trees, they said shahada? Oh boy. Anyway, guys, I just want, I don't know. I mean, when I'm going to sleep, now it's 2, it's 2.14. I need to go to go back and work on my book. Uh, but if we go back to our topic, let us, we as a Christians, not to be the same as Muslims. Women, they should be educated. And let us help everybody to, to earn education, including women, because women, they can bring people to Christ the same as men, they can do so. We are one by him, man and woman.
the Bible confirmed that and no one have the right to teach other than what the Lord he said women if they fit in a place let them do what they fit for if they don't fit then they will not do it so if there is somebody have a gift of teaching let him be teaching as long as he is teaching what is written in the Bible what's your problem correct guys as long as there is a woman she is teaching let us say there is one of you now she can come to the, the to the mic and explain the Bible better than me maybe because she is more educated than me or maybe because she speak better English than me what is the problem do we agree what is the problem her, her gender that is not what the Bible teach time is different and even in the old days as we showed you verses from the Bible speak that women they were teachers and they taught women they are teachers they are the first teachers in the society and if we lose women doing their part we will lose a lot and we will have a very bad society I cannot teach my daughter the same as my wife she can teach her or even my child you know he might be afraid from the male father but he will be maybe more close to the mother because she is warm more warm she is more loving she is more emotion she is more caring etc there's many reasons let everyone do his part in this life and the life is based on male and female and both of us we are blessed by the Lord when we are when we become a family let everyone do his part there's nothing you are qualified or let us say you are not qualified to do something because of your gender the Bible says that the woman she shall obey her husband this is a true but obey him not to be subdued but to obey the love of the man to her who the Lord he said be the same love that you know love your wife the same as the Christ he loved the church that is the authority you have the authority of the church of Christ or over the church <coughs> is authority of love even though he's our Lord his Savior so the man have authority over his wife but authority of love not authority of conquer and demolish and controlling that is evil women she is obedient not because he is Saddam Hussein who will beat her but because they are one by his by his grace everyone do his part in the family and everyone do his part in the society the family is the smallest cell in the side the, inside the, the society <clears throat> And society will not be built by the male alone not by the female alone always we need to take things in the whole picture not in a small uh, you know like a, a phrase or a small verse and we say we want to base everything in one verse this is called a book of books not a book of verse book of books that's what the bible mean so in order to know what the book of books teaching we need to study the books not just a verse i encourage the women to study the bible and when you feel ready to deliver what you learn deliver it be blessed and bring as many as you can to Christ and don't worry about some people saying that women she should not teach that's not what the Bible teach they are quoting one verse and they are not quoting the rest because this verse only is the one they wanted to be there the same as when they try to teach us that Jesus said if somebody did beat you in your right cheek turn the other one 
but they will not quote for you the verse saying that Jesus said the one who don't have a sword go and buy one I never heard a church quoting that verse for me never not even once as if it is not important but every church they quote for us where it says if somebody hit this cheek turn the other one so suddenly one verse present the whole book or present the whole teaching of Jesus and this is not really accurate <clears throat> All right. All right. Let us uh, let us finish with this today. I hope you guys you have a good time, and you don't have to agree with me. And I really I don't care who agree who don't. I'm a person. I believe that every human being he have to bring someone to Christ. Women, men doesn't matter. Even children, if they can bring someone to Christ, bless them. That is a mission for everyone, not for agenda we have one mission men and women we don't live just to live and eat and make babies all of us we are invited to go and teach and preach and the Lord he spoke to men as apostle because this is a main society where women they are in danger if they go travel between cities Today, women, she can preach without going overseas. She can open a chat room and she can teach the gospel. And nobody can hurt her. Right now, I'm speaking. There's people, they hear me from Saudi Arabia. That was impossible in the time of Jesus. I cannot do that. So, let us, let us support the women to speak and to teach. But please, women, don't open your mouth unless you are ready to speak good. Same for the men. Don't open your mouth if you want to speak foolishness. Because the Bible is full of stories about men doing foolishness and speaking foolishness. So why you focus on the women only? Actually, if you read in the Bible, you will find that 90% Jesus humiliating, he was humiliating men for their false teaching, not women. Is that correct, guys? Is that correct? Because he was debating men. They were the hypocrite. They were the one doing false teaching, the rabbis, the Pharisees. So the, 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 the men, the Jewish men, they did not do good. Here we go. They are rabbi. They are the one who follow the law. They are the one who teach the law. Yet they were doing hypocrisy. So what does this have to do with being a man and women? And yet from the Jews, there's women who they were serving the Messiah, crying in his feet, following him and believing in him. So don't be a Taliban Christian. Be Christ-like. When the Aramaic woman, she came to Jesus and she spoke to him, did he say to her, go away from me, women? I don't talk to women. He spoke to her. He listened to her. He did even what she want. When a woman, she was a person who committed adultery. Did Jesus cast his stone on her? Or she became a believer? Even such a woman, she was welcome. And such a woman, she can bring women who they are deceived, like her to the right path so everybody can do his part in life I speak to my friends you speak to your friends whoever you are who where, wherever you are and all of us we should be fishermen and women so don't say only men they can teach no women they can teach a woman right now in a chat room and people they are speaking wrong about Jesus are you saying she should shut her mouth because she is a woman? That is very naive. We don't do that. I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless 
men and women and children and may the Lord the Lord bless whoever speak good and do good speak good my friend and teach good and then nobody is worried about your gender let your knowledge speak and let the wisdom of the Lord speak within your tongue and then who is going to remember your gender except the one who want to remember the gender There's women, they bring millions of people to Christ, and they are women. So they are doing better than many men. And there's men who they are false teachers, and they are doing business just to take money and take donations in churches, like Mr. Dollar, who want his uh, church to donate for him so he can buy an airplane. Thank you. And enter to see you. I cannot say tomorrow because tomorrow is today. So let us see if today afternoon I will do it or not. We will see. If not, maybe tomorrow then. Until I see you again, guys. May the Lord bless you. And I hope people they understand what I'm saying, and they will be more smart and more intelligent, and they will be thinking carefully about reading the whole book, not quoting a verse from a book. Thank you very much. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Bye-bye. Take care.